For the last few episodes, Joanne, we've had the pleasure of speaking with a lot of really terrific school leaders like you who have been involved in one way or another with the Yas Prize, a really uh, innovative award that, you know, uh, celebrates education innovators and leaders such as yourself. Uh, you were recently announced as a semifinalist for that award and uh, have gotten quite a bit of uh, fame from that. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been doing with them lately? Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, what a beautiful experience that was. I was at a um, a training when I got the uh, the announcement, when the first announcement of the uh, the semifinalist or whatever, I think it was a quarterfinalist was announced. Uh, and so, I mean, I was elated, like to know that there were over 2,700 applicants, right? And we were selected and, um, you know, as part of that group. And then to fly to New York, right, to be part of that celebration and to meet all the folks that were selected as quarterfinalists and then moving down to semifinalists, like what a beautiful experience. Like, you, you know, you meet one, it's just there's such electrifying energy to be around folks like that who are really like just I don't know, blazing trails and like doing like what seems like the impossible. It's just, it's nice to be in that company. Right. So it was a remarkable experience. And, uh, you know, I felt like I learned so much from everybody that was part of that. And th they put such a class act on too of, you know, the, the, the training program that they put together for us. It was just, it was remarkable. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to kind of drill down to like, what was the number one people sometimes say, well, what was your key takeaway? And I'm like, Oh <laughs> no, it's hard to drill down to like one thing we got from that. It was really powerful. I think we got powerful ideas, lots of validation. Sometimes when you're doing the work and you're really in the work, you start to question, am I doing everything right? Cause there's a lot of challenges in the work. Right. And when you talk to other organizations and other leaders and you find that they're experiencing some of the same challenges one it makes you feel less alone it's very validating and then two you take away some unique ideas of how they navigated things that you hadn't tried yet right so sometimes when you get in the work i think you're 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 so buried in the work that sometimes you forget to look up and start talking to people around you and figure out yeah. how they're doing this school leaders like you are so used to just getting from day to day putting out fires and trying to move things forward that it, uh, you know, it almost comes as a shock to you when somebody just kind of taps you on the shoulder and says, Hey, just so you know, you're doing an incredible job and your uh, fellow educators in this industry are acknowledging that. And here's some awards to you know demonstrate. And you're just, and you know, your head's just like, so down trying to move forward. You don't even realize it, but you know, rest assured, we're all very impressed with your school. Thank you. Of course, uh, you can find out more about our guests work by visiting www.missionachievementandsuccess.com.